Hello and welcome back. So this time we want to finish off our product uh, tile here. So last time we had a uh, dummy data for our tile and uh, we basically had a starter template for creating it. So let's go ahead and match it to the design here. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, actually first let's just uh, let's just remove all of this. And let's just leave one all right and this is what we're going to be using for reference all right now for our product tile we definitely need all of these but uh, if you check the design for quantity it's not just text it's that all right so the first thing I want to do is uh, change this to body all right and uh, it's the same for the product name and uh, finally for the price so body okay just like that and uh, the next thing is let me pull this up that line at the bottom there okay so let's go ahead and add that really quickly so canvas dot after all right and uh, just gonna do color fix our semicolon the RGB value of this is going to be app dot color secondary BG and then we're just gonna add a rectangle right and the position of this rectangle is going to be the position of our product tile the size on the x-axis is going to be the size of our product tile but on the y-axis we just want it to be one pixel all right, and just like that, we should have that line at the bottom. All right, so before we run this, actually, I'm just going to remove this for the quantity. So this is uh, supposed to be uh, a box layout because we're going to be adding uh, some widgets in there. All right, so leave it at that. And then, actually, what I'm going to do to make things easy for me is uh, just gonna put this in right add the box layout here take this size make sure it's the box layout size then just do flat button here right and uh, let's give it an icon and the icon is going to be uh, icon is it icon minus uh, let me I forget so let's just search is it minus minus uh, should be minus icon minus uh, icon minus circle should we just go with that let's see icon minus but definitely icon minus is there right minus Let's do icon minus circle for now to have a, a circle on our flat button. The color is going to be app dot color uh, color uh, tertiary, I believe tertiary. All right, and the font size is going to be app dot fonts dot size dot h1. Duplicate this, put it there. And we want you to be edge aligned to the center. All right, now with that, let's go ahead and run this and see what we have. All right, so this is what we have. And I cannot see the, I can't see the buttons. All right, so what we're going to do is go back. And first, let's change this to a number like two or whatever and then let's see why we cannot see that button the color we did set the color hmm well this is strange indeed because I actually think we should be able to see it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a back box uh, yeah product tile and I'm just gonna add a B color because this this uh is probably a matter of uh this box being too small. 
all right so app dot color uh, let's do color alternate all right let's see how big this box is all right I think I think this box has uh, enough space all right so first things first what I'm gonna do is I think I want to center this all right so let's go back to here and let's edge align you to the center to the center like that and now let's go back to our flat button and see why we can't see it uh, app did color texture this is strange all right I'm gonna do minus and see it's still not showing up Mm. all right because now I'm thinking it's probably because you can't find that icon but it can and it's uh, it's actually still not showing up by the way all right so let me let me do this let me reduce the size to something that I know is uh, small enough to fit the button and again still not showing up all right so what i'm going to do now is i am uh, going to simply pause this video and figure this out because really it should be showing up all right ladies and gents i actually figured it out and it was actually quite a stupid mistake on my end so the icon so flat button doesn't have an icon property obviously it's actually supposed to be just text you know so let's go there make it text let's change this back to minus uh, was it minus circle and uh, is this plus circle or add let's see plus icon plus yeah it's definitely plus all right now let's run this and uh, what we have now is this all right so yeah I like 24 so let's go ahead and put 24 back here so just basically copy this put it back there and then for our plus we actually want to change this to color secondary like that all right now if we run this we should have our lovely item here so now let's just remove that uh, background you can keep it if you want I actually think it looks pretty cool but yeah I'm just gonna remove it Ooh. all right and now we want it uh, we want to be able to add these values in runtime right so let's go ahead and in our pos.py let's add oh let's add those properties so we want to be able to add the product code so i'm just going to call this p code and it's going to be a string property it's going to be devoting to nothing right and then just gonna call this name just gonna call the other one uh quantity and price right so remove this i'm gonna do quantity and this is going to be a numeric property since it's always going to be a number and it's going to be zero by default duplicate this and call this one price right so now we want to go back to our POS and bind our values to these values that we just created all right so for the product code we are going to use root dot p code for our product name we want to use root dot name not b name name for our quantity here all right this one is going to be let's do the string of uh, root dot quantity now this is important making it a string because labels in Kiwi will only accept a string all right so if you just put it if you just put the number as it is it's not gonna work you'll get an error 
all right so for the prize we are going to do uh, the string of the rounded prize and we're going to round root dot prize uh, to two decimal places all right and just like that we have everything we need so now if we run this we should have a blank uh, tile all right as you can see it's there but we don't have any information there that's because we didn't uh, supply it here all right so we can just do something like p chord and one two three da 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 we can do name and we can do hunters gold cider that's actually the cider i'm having right now uh quantity and uh you know we've added six a six pack prize and it's actually dollar 20. all right so now let's run this and now we should have that information reflected so that that six and the price lovely all right so this is where we're going to stop for this one if you have any questions regarding our product tile here leave them in the comment section otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for the love and support i will see you in the next one